Hello, I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. Well, I'm going out into the yard. Yes, quiet worked early in the yard and I am working late in the yard. But not to worry. I've had my water so I am properly hydrated and I've put on my sunscreen like 15 minutes ago. So I am ready to go outside and do some work. So come on, let's get to it. Looks like Wyatt's working on the sugar cane. We had better go take a look and see what he is doing out there. Sugar cane has been here forever. And it's not even being eaten. It doesn't seem to be growing well, so... This thing is old, old. At least six, seven years old. It's so hard to eat some of it. I almost said, take it to mercy. But, uh, we're gonna go to church next week. Look at that. All the sunflowers in this little spot are open, and look who's come to visit. <laughs> Little ladybug. Oh. I don't know if she stayed. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She's happy to be working in the gardens. <laughs> and look who else is in the garden. Pretty Kitty's come for a visit. Where is she? Pretty Kitty, where are you? There she is. You can barely see the, see the back end over there. Yeah, I haven't seen her for a couple of days. I guess whoever owns her kept her in for, for a little bit. Yeah. It's nice to have flowers in the garden. They good at pollinating your stuff. He is really working at it. <laughs> I've got another one over here on this big one too. Where is it? Oh, can you see her? The wind is just blowing things around so much. I hear a pretty kitty. There she is. Hey, pretty kitty. Are you awake from your nap? Hmm? <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Oh, pretty kitty, I've got to work. Otherwise, I come and play with you, okay? Got a few things to do first. Okay? Well, since we took a pretty kitty break, I thought we might just take a look at the trees a little bit. See the guavas? Yeah. Interesting little spider right there. Yeah. Guava. There's some in the background there. Oh, there's one right there too. Yeah. It's a pretty day. Look at that. That's the yucca tree never seen like blooms. I have a friend that told me that he knows people that take those flowers and eat them. They uh, deep fry them like um, kind of like you do pumpkin blooms and zucchini you know the flowers off of those you just egg flour and fry or batter fry yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Here's the other side of the, I guess you call it a melon patch? I don't know. Maybe we'll do a better count of the melons Wednesday too, when I start to cover them. Look how big that is. You can start to see some of the ones we've been watering. They're, yeah, they're big enough to just see. Down there the kale. And the collard greens. I don't know if I put in a winter garden what I would have to put in. Here's the newer sugar cane. You saw Quiet cut the other one down or cut it back or something. Some little pears. I don't eat these, and our friend hasn't come by to uh, take any of these. I think Quiet's sisters might be coming for a visit. I hear this is a good fruit for them.
there's the low quad yeah we don't look at that very often because this time of the year there's nothing going on just green green leaves corn is finished but quite says we'll clean that area up together we didn't get much corn at all so let's go in and I'll show you what I was working on this morning okay this is what I was working on this morning I haven't got the uh, strings tucked in on the back but yeah looks pretty doesn't it and you see the little peacock bag I have already started on these I'm gonna do all the blue around first Let's put this where you can see it I'm gonna put all the blues on first and then I'll go around with this green again and then onto the little blanket it'll go <laughs> yeah my inspiration bag <laughs> Well, I've got a story to tell you, so let me tell you a little yarn story. Well, my little story starts Wednesday. Wednesday, I was looking at some videos, and there was someone talking about a new yarn that has come out called Cake. Yeah, you can tell I'm a cake kind of a girl, right? So <laughs> I wanted to go see this cake. But anyway, Thursday... I was having coffee with a friend and I asked her while we were having coffee uh, at our favorite coffee place, may I ask, which is McDonald's because you can get coffee and a pastry for under $5. So yeah, cookies for me. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I asked her if she wanted to come with me. She says, no, no. I said, I'm not going to buy. I just want to look because you know, the lines at Michael's, they can get kind of long. So I ended up going alone. Before I went, though, to Michael's, I went to Sprouts. That's a grocery store that sells organic foods and stuff. So I went to Sprouts to get something. And while I am in line at Sprouts, my phone rings. And I ignore it because I figure it would be calling me. <laughs> Unless it's her telling me that she got in okay. Yeah. Where we live, I guess, is... Well, I guess if you live on this planet, it's best to check in with somebody. So that was probably her telling me that she got in. My next stop, Michael's. So I am at Michael's. I am roaming the store, <laughs> even though I know I'm just there to see one thing. And I go by the yarn aisle, which is one of my favorite places to go. They're, they have several aisles, plus the back side, and then there's... The very back of the store, there's like stuff for embroidery and latch hook. And yeah, I'm looking it all over. And finally, at the end of the very last aisle, there it is. The cake collection. And yeah, I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, these are nice. I'm touching. <laughs> it's soft, too. And I start thinking, now what can I make out of this? And then I remember my friend. Oh, hold on. I better check and see her message, right? So I check the message, and this is what I hear. This is your conscience calling. Do not buy the yarn. Look only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a friend. A friend with an emergency call in for someone, don't buy the yarn. So <laughs> I made it home safely without the yarn. <laughs> but yeah, I will find a project, if there's any left, to, uh, to make something out of. So I am going to say bye-bye for now because that's all I have. And uh, I will show you a little clip of the yarn display they had at uh, Michael's at the very end, okay? But for now, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.